We decided to focus in on the hypoglycemic since we were having so many residents that were coming up with hypoglycemic episodes um, on our quality improvement papers that we normally would get from the laboratory. Um, from, you know, uh, we get the report like at least at the end of the month, so it wasn't a real time basis. So we decided to, you know, make a log so that way we can get real time data and then go forward from that and then get, you know, try to get everybody on board physicians, dietitians, nurses, charge nurses. There was a nurse champion, uh, the pharmacist was involved, and the physicians also involved. Not only the physicians on call, but also the physicians, the primary care physicians, and it um, included more communications amongst the physicians. That way, at least instead of a short term fix, you can look at a longer range, a long term fix instead of just a quick fix. Some residents were triggering it, you know, every two or three days, it'll be hypoglycemic episode, either they weren't eating properly, or because of dementia residents, you know, their mind is not, not really there. So we try to, you know, focus in on their dietary habits, what they like, what they didn't like, you know, try to get also sometimes family involved too, a little bit, to try to, you know, help us along the way too. Also with medication wise to adjust the medications and we were able to basically either taper down the medications or adjust the medications, you know, in a way that way we wouldn't have to be doing their finger sticks quite so often and the hemoglobin A1C stayed within normal range. Percent went down of hypoglycemic episodes during the 12 month period that we looked back, we decreased it to about like 45% from what we originally started with. And some of the residents also, we de decreased the finger stick. So instead of doing it like every day, we'll do it three times a week. And their um, hemoglobin A1C also went down, which is a good thing.